everybody? Welcome back to Fairville Plays Monster Train. DLC is imminent. I want to get to Covenant Rank 10. And you know what that means? That means that you play as Melting Remnant as your primary. Who needs to level up? And who do you want to match him with? Well, rank 5. You haven't won yet. You've won. You've won. We've won with everybody? I guess we'll play as Melting Remnant Umbra? Ugh, I don't know. That one is spicy, but I've noticed that Umbra is like the clan that I play with the least. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I just don't like them. Fatal Melting Pact, Morsels, Wicklash. Okay, 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 okay. What kind of Seraph is it? Devour my spells. Okay, that's good. At the start of battle, summon a Morsel Miner on each floor where enemies get minus one attack. I'll be honest with you. If, if I could be like 100% real, well, there's a lot of gold here, baby. That makes me feel pretty good about what's happening. Okay. It's not that I don't like this. It's just that I think this is better. Like plus five attack, plus five HP is good. But I do think you want. I do think you wanted. You want to nerf down the enemies. And burnout is great. Do we have a way to like make it so that he doesn't die? We do have Wicklash, so I will take the burnout rector. Okay, okay. It's a little spicy. It's a little deleterious. It might even be dare I say a little bit dangerous. But you know what? It's been a while since we played. Start with enemies on every floor. For 75 coins. It's too bad you don't have trample. <laughs> Ooh, we're, we're making tough decisions right at the beginning, huh? Sorry, this water is very frozen. Merchant of Magic, Umbra Banner coming up. You know what? Let's not be too much of a coward. Our, our main goal, by the way, is to, is to keep things spicy. Without ever falling into the realm of being a coward. Okay, you guys, not an issue. Getting this early is just massive. And straight up. Like, they're gonna make it through. I can't really do anything about that unless I play the drag. But like, no, they're all dying. It's perfect. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay. Like I was saying, we haven't really played in, in a while. It's been a couple days. Um, but I'm not gonna let that I'm not going to let that get the better of me I'm still gonna try to do whatever I can in order to pull out a W here Am I getting upset that we seem to constantly be losing? Not really train stewards. You know what just throw out there throw them out there But with melting remnant, it's a great clan With the ability to actually oh my god fatal melting is so good because the morsels count as actual units Even though they're not real units in the sense of you know them being like useful for anything But like in the sense of that they could die and give us like a whole bunch of uh a whole bunch of energy for a fatal melting. Now that I think about that, that might be a win condition that we can peruse and continue on towards our path to a non-stop victory if we, in fact, dare choose to do so. So now I'm like, what do you want to do here? Do you want to throw out, like, a whole bunch of boys? You're attacking, huh? Yeah, you got damage on you. That's pretty good. And you know what? Have a train steward, too. I don't want anything getting through. Honestly, now that our pyre is permanently injured... I, I have a lot more respect for uh, making sure its HP doesn't hit zero. You might think, wow, Fairwell, it's about time. Yeah, no kidding. Trust me, you're not the only one who thinks like that. Okay, good. You becoming a monster god is great. We can't play you for 48 damage. It would have been actually really nice. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I don't know why I put the Morso there. It's what we would call in the industry a stupid decision, but you should be dead. Yeah, you're super dead. Okay, good. And you know what? Oh, dude, it's sweeping damage, too. Oh, my God. Well, now I'm just in a... I'm in a great position. Okay. Lots of money. Wicklash would be good. Molded is also pretty good if we want to start working on bringing stuff back. But we don't have anything that we want to bring back right now. So I think Dripfall is what you want to take here. We don't need much in the ways of like... Like you have... We have ways of making sure you don't burn out. It's not reliable. But we have ways of making sure you don't burn out. Mind Collapse could be good. Morsel Miner is also really good. I promise you, I understand that Ember Drain is great. I just I just can't take it right now. I think we will take a Mind Collapse. Because, I mean, at the very least, it has the benefit of paying for itself. And now it's like, this is a big moment for us. I think you got to go for an Umber unit here to pad out the... To pad things out. Restore 5, deal 5 damage to all enemies. It's not bad, but it's not good. I think the Crucible Warden is, in fact, a monster unit, and I will be happy to have it. Now the question is, do you want to give some bo somebody quick, or do you want to, like, re-roll for a large stone? Honestly, I think I want to re-roll for a large stone. 
Okay, multi-strike is still good. Do you want to give multi-strike to your son here for 40 damage? I think that's acceptable. I would like to give him a little bit more HP, but I mean like 10 extra attack. I don't know, man. You want to give it to like a drag and make like a decent drag. It's not the worst thing in the world for us. And I, I do think that this was a good, um, a good use of resources, a good use of company time. Armor and a unit draft? I'll do it. From now on, I'm not going to be a coward, dude. The only way to win, I mean, yes, I could probably be doing a little bit more research off camera, but I mean, like, what am I? Like, a, you know, who, who cares? Okay, you, I like you. If we could give you holdover, oh, dude, you just get you just get better and better. You're not going to die. You're also not going to kill this dude, which sucks. You know, let's straight up, just play it. Just play everything here. Why would you do that? Okay, you get another friend, too. <laughs> Okay, so it is, it's spicy playing him without your the ability to burn stuff out. I, I will admit that, and I do understand that, but at the same time, you know, you kind of have to, you kind of just have to play with it, man. I'm taking a, as, as in every single episode I've ever released in this game, I'm taking a new position on Monster Train. Learn your cards, learn how to play, become a better person. Thank you, you came at the perfect time, and like, I'm really happy for you. Uh, we need you to like start eating, but it's fine. You guys don't do any damage, I don't care. Learn your cards, but also learn how different cards work well together. You're only taking 170. Oh, dude, the armor is allowing you to continue your mortal function, dude. Okay, it's okay. Feed up the train, Stuart. Which I honestly don't think is going to be... You didn't get through. You didn't do damage. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, good. We're fine. Get rid of it. Even though they don't do any damage, you, you really need to stop that horrible muscle memory of just ending a turn. When there are things that you can do to better yourself. I think a draft you got to take. This is going to be heavy units, huh? Merchant of Steel is coming up. We do have a decent amount of money. I think you got to take a draft. Our deck is our deck is fat. Don't get me wrong. 23 cards already is pretty bad. I do like Antumber Assault, even though it hasn't really worked out for us. Packed Morsel could be good. I think you take it just for a little bit of targeted damage. And a Lady of the Reformed is, is kind of amazing for us, especially with what we're dealing with right now. Okay. So we could set up a Melting Remnant floor. We could also set up an Umbra floor. And I think that's like pretty much what we want to do. Now the question is, now that I look at this, would I rather get a unit? I think I would rather get a unit. Lady of the House will take. It's decent damage. That's pretty much it. There's nothing else special about her. I hate saying it. I don't mean to be rude, but like that's it. What do you want to do here? I guess maybe make... Uh, nah. I honestly like it's gonna it's gonna be a wild one, but I think I'd rather reroll. I was honestly hoping to maybe get like plus ten magic damage, but if that's the situation, get rid of the train steward, dude. Was that worth it? Not at all. Not at all. Was that potentially a misplay? I don't think so. I mean, how would we know? Yo, this could be really good though. Every time this shows up, I'm always like, this is the one. I know we don't have to throw something in and get five copies of it, but like I'm gonna. So now the question is, how badly do you want to ruin this deck? There's really nothing here that I, I that I could look at and be like, I want five copies of it. So with that being said, maybe we just don't throw anything in. Well, I mean, you could have like a whole bunch of Crucible Wardens that have like, they're, they're, it is 40 damage. Is that enough, though? I don't think so. You really want to set them up with, like, a feeding line and then, like... But also, that's not really what we're doing, huh? I don't know why I went British there for a second. You might want to maybe, like, six drafts would be good. Like, a whole bunch of Fatal Meltings, I think, would actually actually be okay, but they don't have Holdover. If they had Holdover, that would be, like, a whole different story. There really isn't anything here that I'm like, yes, I want a whole bunch of it. Please ruin my deck. But because I like keeping things spicy, I will duplicate a whole bunch of Crucible Wardens. Why? I don't know, man. Who cares, you know? <laughs> you might as well do it for the meme, you know? Look, I never want to be the, the, the Monster Train content creator that sees a duplicate 5 hell vent and then also be like, Oh, you know what? I don't think it's really in the best uh, fiscal responsibility for us to do so. I'm just going to pass it. No, screw that. Okay. So, I mean... Welcome to hell, I guess. It's, it's, you know, it's not the best thing in the world. How are you dying, dude? Oh, because you deal one damage. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's a spicy one. I'm not gonna... I, I'll admit to you, but it's okay. We still have, like, seven more. Okay. I know that this run is in a bad place because I straight up 
and I know it's this is not what you want to hear, but I really don't have any plan on like how are we gonna win this. You're living, which is great. Straight like I, I'm not trying to be like a mean person. I'm not trying to be defeatist or anything like that. I am trying to you know pull something out of this, but I'm like I don't really have a plan here. Like we're pretty much just going at this point. Get rid of that. Does that count? That counts. Perfect. Awesome. You know what? You get to eat. Might as well, because like otherwise you're pretty much useless. You're burning out, which is like pretty bad. It's not really something you like to see, unfortunately, but at the same time, there's not much else we can do, huh? I'm not too happy about that. And, and this is a symptom of the fact that the deck is like way too fat for us to actually do anything. And of course, now we get the Lady of the Reformed after it's like way too late. But I mean, like, I get it. That's fair. You know, why would you ever want to give me something that's actually helpful to me? You know, it's not, it's not like I'm trying my best here in order to pull out a decent W and like give the people what they want. High quality Monster Train Entertainment. And you know what? Play the draft. Why not? You know what? Live longer, too. I'd very much appreciate you not dying immediately. Now what do you want to do here? I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, your Lady of the Reform... This this run is all over the place. I apologize for this. I'm, like, I realize that it's, like, it's messed up right now. Sure, that's great. Uh, I realize that this is messed up right now. Can't really do anything about that. We're pretty much... We're here. Our best bet right now is to try to get the deck as thin as possible. And then also, um... Upgrade our mega units so that they actually do something different from each other. I don't know, man. Endless could be good, but we don't really need it. Devour of Death. Gain soul, extinguish, deal damage to enemy units equal to 15 times the soul count. You seem good, but dangerous. I like that. Okay. And here I'm like, I don't think you want anything. Friendly burnout units gain rage too. I mean, this isn't really a burnout deck anymore. This is really just a Crucible Warden deck, and they're all like pretty bad. So like, we've made mistakes. I get that, but like, whatever. Parathen Thug? I don't like you. I'd rather just have the money. And now I'm like, I need capacity, please. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate the humble uh, attribution to this cause. Am I expecting to win? No. Let's get an artifact. <laughs> Yo, I think you need a Morsel Maker. Like, at least one, you know? Morsel units get a damage shield. That actually could be good. It, it basically just allows us to make a human shield every single turn, which isn't the worst thing for us. Pyre getting more damage. Th despite this run being a dumpster fire and will not beat Seraph, we haven't had anything get to the Pyre yet. Un unless we have and I've completely forgotten, but I think we're like, we're okay. Okay, this is, this one's a little bit, it's a little bit spicy. Because you have a, uh, what do you have? You have, oh, you're the mutilators. Oh, and haste, that's not good. 150 coins to start. Hellvent, Merchant of Steel, you need. Like, I, I really do need it. Because, like, we're way we're way off base, dude. This is all over the place. I love it. I'm, like, kind of here for it in a weird sense. But, like, I know it's not going to be good. So we really don't have any way of attacking the back line. That sucks. What do you do? I don't know. I guess you throw up, like, some sort of defense up there. I mean, really, these guys are kind of expendable right now. Which I guess isn't... It's not the best for us. But, I mean, it is going to take care of this lineup pretty decently. This is, this is like, the perfect example of, like, 100% brute, brute forcing your way through the run and hoping that it works. Can you please, like, I, I really would like if you could have a little bit of, like, burnout gain. Can I have my lady? Thank you. Now, this also does nothing because, like, yeah, you're dying. Okay, well. <laughs> Congratulations, you're here now. Which means I guess we should set, like an actual floor up here where like you can eat so i don't really know why i put you here because you're just gonna burn out but that's fine too look again okay huge mistakes are being made on a on a basic gameplay level you might be looking at this run and thinking like wow is this fairville's first time playing this game no unfortunately no we can afford two of you up here because you're gonna make them no matter what that's fine see that's finally finally a, a good decision has been made probably should have played this crucible ward and that's fine that's fine okay okay spice it's getting up there. I'm not going to lie. You know what? You know what? Welcome. No, oh, you're laughing. That was the biggest mistake I could have made. Oh, that was really dumb. <laughs> oh, man. You ever, like, do something and then think to yourself, Oh, no. Am I, am I actually a fool? Okay, so stuff is going to hit the fire. That's fine. That's fine. How you looking? 
124 damage. That's not bad. Let's just get rid of you straight up. I think that's an important thing to do. I really don't want you burning out, especially now that you don't have a haster, so like you're going to have to actually take your time getting up there. Now you're up to 307. Now you're up to 411. Oh, baby, it just keeps getting better and better. And now I'm thinking maybe we do have a chance, because, I mean, it's not Sap Seraph. It's just, like, Purge Seraph. And, like, who cares about Purge Seraph? Purge Seraph sucks, dude. You're dead. I don't know. It's... I don't know. I know I don't know a lot about this game, but I know enough about this game for me to look at this and be like, this isn't good. Intent on death is fine, but we, I mean, we don't have anything that uses it, right? So maybe it's not fine. This deck is disgusting. I can't even sub summoning blade. I like it, but we're too late in the run. And like memories of the melted, we don't need energy. So, like, it's just it's just dead cards. Ascend friendly and enemy units on this floor. Oh, my God. I'm taking it. <laughs> we have 33. 33 cards are in this deck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this, this is the fattest deck I think I've ever constructed in this entire game's history. And I hate saying it, but it's going to get fatter. I need to, like, upgrade these units. You know what? Sure. Why not? Give one, give one uh, another multi-strike. Sure. You might as well. You might as well keep it spicy, right? Sure. Have. I mean, I don't want to give you. Uh, but it's sixty. That's that's decent. Okay. Reroll. What else you got? Endless. I honestly like. Don't kind of want. I'd really like to upgrade your HP, but apparently that's not a thing that we could do here. I think you being endless might be massive. No, I think the draft being endless is probably better for us, even though we're not really using it. I don't want you to have burnout, because you have burnout that's bad for us. I really just want a large stone, but apparently those don't exist. And no, 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 hold on, hold on. Purge, purge. Just get... <laughs> Even if it's a basic train steward you're getting rid of, at least now you're down to 32 cards instead of, like, you know, 33. It's it's a small improvement, but I mean, that's... it's Why is it you? Plus six attack. It's another merchant... Ah, merchant of Steel's coming up, like, later. So we can afford to not do this. I'm, I Look, just because this run might be like incredibly cursed, it doesn't mean I'm not going to try to at least make the right decisions. Yo, this is actually, it's so good. I've never, I never thought I would actually see like a decent like loadout right, right at the beginning. So this is a great first floor. Now we can start setting up everything else. So you're going to go here. I don't know, I guess you'll go up here. Packed morsels, come on out, thank you. Damage shield? Sure, I forgot about that. We should probably try to make use of that, but will we? Who knows, man. I want you to get hit. Yeah, I want you to get hit. We gotta make sure our champion actually makes it to the end of the boss, because that's like, that's pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's one of our main, like, ways to victory. Yeah, you know what? Put the triple multi-strike unit back there. You know what? Screw it. Make a super floor. I don't care anymore. Whatever. Like, what does it matter, you know? Who, who cares at this point? You don't even have to play well as long as, like... Yeah, there you go. Sure, why not? You don't even have to play well as long as, like, everything dies on the first floor anyway. Even though, like, you're totally gonna be dead, like, in a couple turns. So I'm not too happy about that. There's the Endless Boy. Dude, we're pretty much just playing shit. I, like, I'll be 100% real with you. This is not how I wanted to, like, go out on this run, but, like, I'm straight up... We're pretty much just, like, no-braining it. You're taking 210 damage. How about now? Okay, that's that's fair. What if I were to do this? Oh, it doesn't really affect you, huh? Probably should have played the Endless Draft. That was a huge mistake. Okay. I would I would like to maybe get myself a little bit of uh, more energy would be good, I think. I think you're still dead, though. Yeah, like, you're dead. Just, just die already. Why are you here? Get out of here. Like, nobody even likes you. Remember when I hated this boss? We've gone to the point of Monster Train where, like, me overthinking everything and I still get completely destroyed by the Crystal Cloak. And now I'm just like, whatever, who cares? Crushing Demise, though, huh? Kill a random friendly unit. Kill a random non-boss. It's too dangerous. Unless you give it holdover. In which case, it might be amazing. And there is a Merchant of Magic. But I think you gotta, I think you gotta go to Unstable Vortex and, like, just yeet stuff out of your deck. I think, like, I think we're at the point where I just can't take anything. <laughs> no. I can't, we can't take anything. There's way too much stuff in this deck. It's disgusting. It's honestly disgusting. It should not be working this well. Here we are. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. 
No, 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 I was looking at the proper thing. First things first, I'm, I'm Bruce Willis. Second things second, it doesn't have the same ring to it. Either way, get rid of the train stewards, I hate you, okay. Less stuff, Merchant of Magic, give me something good. Double stack can be actually really good. It's, it's spicy, but I kind of want to go for like a holdover. Oh, it's a remove consume and cost plus one, dude. That's not what I wanted. All right, well, I think we need you to be better. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Let's make you like better as well, even though we're not really using it. And I'm not going to say I completely forgot about it, but don't give me another mo multiply by five, please. Heartless, huh? We're not healing. You want to give everything plus 10 attack or plus 10 HP? Why not? <laughs> okay, so I mean, that is like, to be fair, that's a pretty substantial upgrade that we just applied there. Like, a, like straight up, 10 extra HP across everything is going to add up. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. Maybe. You think I know anything about this game just yet? Especially after the last run, which was just like a complete dumpster fire. Like, nothing's good. Okay, so it's it's spicy. I think you got to play them. Especially with that, that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, but straight up, I think you just got to get these out and you accept that you're going to take a little bit of damage. The nice thing is that we have HP to lose, which isn't always the situation that we find ourselves in, but... I mean, like, it can't be that bad. Sure, why not, dude? Straight up. Like, we're just gonna brute strength it. Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work... I mean, like, on, you know what? Why not? Why not, dude? Who cares? Who cares at this point, you know? It doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Okay, well, here you might want to start, like, actually doing this. I, I want to get the draft out. Don't get me wrong. I just can't. <laughs> Alright, how are we looking? How are we looking? Get rid of that. I think it's a, it's about it's enough time that we it's it's about time that we stop taking unnecessary damage and now we can just focus on like, I don't know. Putting 37 damage on on Fell over here. Sure, why not? Also, have a little bit more energy next turn, baby. We gotta get this deck so thin so fast, it's kinda ridiculous. This might actually work. You ever, like, have a bad idea and then think to yourself, maybe I'm a genius. This might actually be one of those times. Probably not. But I still believe. Sure, I mean, like, you might as well play these. I mean, like, I don't know. Just go down so I can play another one. We need more capacity. Never mind the energy anymore. Like, we're, we're so, like, chonked up. It's ridiculous. How are you looking? 39 damage, huh? It's not enough. You're dying, which sucks, but, like, I, I respect that. I get it. And you have 12 stacks on you, so you're fine. Okay, 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 good. Might as well play this just to get them out of the deck, really. How you looking? You're dead, huh? All right. Um. What I've noticed in Monster Train... Is that I'm usually pretty good at getting to, to Seraph or to Fell or to Seraph. No, I I don't know why. They're, they're the same card. Excuse me. Endless is great. I don't know. We could usually, like, pretty easily get to, to Seraph. It's just beating him is the hard part, really. Do you want more capacity? I don't think more capacity does anything, especially now that we have the cave in. I do think maybe energy would be the, our go-to. It does make it so that if we do have more curses put into our deck, we could deal with them and not, like, have just a turn where we can't do anything. I don't know, man. Straight up, I don't know. What do you do here? I mean, I think this is a great area for you here. Get up to relative full HP. We could just suck out more stuff. Um, I think you want to get rid of the Shade Splitters. I think that's an acceptable yeet. And now now it's like, please, large stone. Thank you so much. Give it to my son. That's pretty good. <laughs> you might as well have more HP. And with 55 gold left, I think you just you just does you say no thank you. You go get your final champion upgrade. He's at 150, 160, which is like pretty good. We don't really need the resolve reform. And like, I don't know, man. I've, I've honestly never felt more, like, conflicted in a monster train run in my life. I'm just gonna fight you. I don't want to deal with... I really don't want to deal with, like, throwing away everything in the last moment and just be like, Oh, hey, you know how we almost won that somehow? Dude. 
I don't want to play you and have you burn out. But also, you're kind of, like, necessary to get out, like, right now, so... Not to be that dude, but, like, this is a pretty big moment right now. We really need to... We need him to survive. But I also need him out on the field doing work. So, like, if you could, like, make it so that... Uh, it's getting spicy, dude! I don't know about this one. <laughs> I know Kaven's here. You know what? Set up Mega Floor. There you go. Perfect. Okay, I know, I know, I know. But sometimes you have to... You have to... Oh, thank God. You have to look at, like, a pseudo Mega Floor before you can get, like, real Mega Floor. And that's what we're doing right now. Dude, straight up. Just get these drags out of my deck. Mind Collapse... Are you dead? Perfect. These enemies here that hit for like 22 is disgusting. My god. It's probably the most like cursed enemy in the game. How you looking? You're dying, huh? That, that's fair. I get that. Okay. Well. I think you gotta play you. You have seven turns of burnout on you? That, that's gonna have to be enough, unfortunately. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my god, it, you came at a perfect time. You finally will be able to use you for maybe your intended purpose. How you looking? You're getting through, which honestly, I get. That's fair. I think now it's like you just wait for the cave to come down and uh, to come back around, and then you just make super floor. If the champion dies, who cares? You just, you just, you just put him back. You're dying, which, or yeah, you're both dying, which is great. 42 damage across the board is actually pretty massive here. So I mean, thank you for that. I don't know, dude. Like, I think we're, like, we're pretty set. Even though our champion's gonna die immediately, he will come back, which isn't really gonna help because all of our floors are pretty full. You gotta go. Step number one. Step number two. This is bad. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's good, but, I mean, you might as well just keep him coming back. Can you guys carry? I need you I, I, I need you to carry. You die in one hit, so this does nothing. I'm just gonna play it because I have no respect for myself. You know what? That's fine. This could still work if you give me a cave in. I'm just, I'm just saying. If you give me a cave in, this could still work. So if you could give me a cave in, it could still work. Does this cave in get consumed? It does not. Where is it? Oh, you monster. You're endless. Yeah, what do I care? You're endless. Now we can't play you. You're taking, like, pr you're pretty much dead. Honestly, dude, I don't want to buff you up any more than you already are. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of damage you're putting on here. I'm not going to lie. But it's not enough. You're dead. Okay, good. And honestly, just just leave. Just, just, just go. Just, I do not want to see you anymore. This should not have worked as well as it has. I don't want any of this. Like, I, straight up. The deck's at 29, which is better, but I don't want it. No, stop. I don't... No. The deck is what it is. It is what it is. What we, we're going into the final battle with what we have here. This freaking monstrosity. I got it. Higher health is, like, whatever. But at the same time, like, this is more important. You, you Like, you just gotta go. You gotta go. 27. Okay, sure, why not? Oh, it's a large stone. Thank you. Sure, there you go. Now, why not? Might as well. That's going to ruin everything, but I don't care anymore. And I'm like, you get better. A damage shield is like, a damage shield is pretty good on you because like, I really don't want you to die. And with 100 left, do you want to get rid of a card? I mean, the answer is yes. You should get rid of a card. But also, I'm not going to. There's no way there's an artifact here for $100. I get it. Sure, okay. Let's go. This is stupid. And this is a fast run, too. We're coming in here at, like, half an hour. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. If this wins, I'm going to be upset. I, I want to die. I want this to fail. Okay. So I hate you. But also, like, whatever. Whatever, right? Like, who cares? Play everything. This is this is the deck that you have. Is it gonna work? I don't know. We'll find out, dude. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Freaking Z, baby. 
I don't care. You're going to hit me for one? Whatever. We need you to not burn out, because that might actually be, like, a huge issue for us. But also, like, you just get down to Mega Floor, please. We're setting up Mega Floor. It might work. We also have to remember that he consumes the first card that we play, so that might actually be, like, a huge thing. Okay, so we're going to lose the champion. That sucks. You're the large one, too. Oh, dude. <laughs> Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay. We're, we're going to have to make choices here. We don't know if these are good choices, but we're making choices. Are we going to win just by, like, pure brute strength? You have to show up. Thank you. We need to play you just to have you. I hate saying. And, like, we're full. We need more capacity. Dude, we're, at, we're putting damage onto Seraph, which is disgusting. But we did lose our biggest damage dealer. So, like, I don't know anymore, man. All right. You're endless. Congratulations. This is good. Kind of want to play this somewhere, but like, I mean, like, there's not the best spot for it. Let's just get rid of you straight up. Might as well. Are you dying? You're not dying. You're coming back. Where's my cave in, for God's sake? Sweet Jesus, man. I'm getting like, I'm getting like weird visions of grandeur. Damage shield. Damage shield, and now you're living and gaining 2 HP. I'm a genius. You know what? You get stronger. The good news is we should be getting our cave in now. Is it enough? I don't think it's enough, though. Sure. <laughs> Oh, man. It's not as good as I thought it was. Final wave. Oh, my God, dude. How you looking? I mean, you got to be played up here. We have too much of the stuff in our deck. I hate it. That came at a perfect time. We're still... We're going to take pyre damage, but, like, you know, whatever. Who cares? Pretty important floor. 165. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's fair. I get that. This shouldn't have it shouldn't have even made it this far. And we're pretty much just like living on a meme at this point, but like, I get it. You sweep? No, you have multi-strike, that's fine too. I don't know, I guess, like, what do you do here, man? It's, who knows? Quit. 209. Perfect. I don't know, it's gonna be close, dude. Alright. <laughs> oh, dude. I had a lot of fun on this one, man. I would, like, straight up. That was great. And I think we just unlocked level 10 for Melting Remnant because I just got a Steam Achievement. Yep, there it is. Removes all burnout and debuff effects from a unit. Oh my god. Oh, that's, in, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. It does help me out. Of course, if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button. Join the Fade Tribe. My name is Fairful. Thank you so much for watching. That was a fun run. All right, let's actually try to win now.